Hello, my fellow Misfortune fans, and welcome to another episode of Eye into Diamond, the series in which I show you that Elo Hell does not exist. We are currently sitting in Platinum 3, and we're playing against the Draven lane. So, uh, Grasp of the Undying for Misfortune is very, very strong in the lane phase, and mediocre at best afterwards. But um, I haven't played this in a long time, and I think with Overheal Bloodline, we might actually be able to still get value. <laughs> okay, Draven Flash. Still uh, get value outside of the lane phase, since we can, with W Max, stay in combat for quite a while. Um, but this build is pretty much just the tower taking build from uh, last game, but uh, with a swapped Keystone and. Uh, what is it called? Overgrowth instead of coup de grace. So, um, we'll see how it goes. Still full lethality. And by the way, I'm in the max CS challenge today with Icon GG. And if you are not part of the Misfortune Club yet, then click the first link in the description. It will get you there. And uh, with Nautilus, though, and Draven having no flash, we might actually be able to get the advantage in the early lane phase, but we'll see. We need to respect him, that's for sure, but Grasp on Misfortune in lane is really, really strong. If only it was... oh goodness, really? Getting hard stomped, topside. Yep. Definitely trading autos with that one. Ooh, not sure if it was it if actually was worth it. But trading with Draven seems like a good idea because of um, if we can if he can uh, if he, we get a gank from our jungler while he is like half health, he will definitely die. But yeah, they have level two advantage. We need to just chill. Now that we have Q, we can proc um, our Keystone with Q bounces. Oh damn, I actually attacked it too early. But yeah, we need to, we need to chill for a little bit. Uh, we cannot really trade against that, we need Vamp Scepter. Then no. So stupid. Alright. Only two points in Q still, it's better for the lane phase. I also get my potion ticking because Malphi, uh, not Malphi, uh, Nautilus seems like he's up to something. Alright, just pushing. Nice, Rakan gives us a good opportunity to proc Rasp. Nautilus should get that, perfect. And we're dropping our last hits for no reason. It doesn't feel good. Another proc there. Again, Grasp in lane is super strong. Oh damn, didn't get that one. Right, so far we... Yeah, again, Grasp in lane, ridiculous. But it will fall off big time. Compared to, like, press the attack. Right? Uh, 
Uh, kind of weak gank, but Nautilus is now half health, which means he is pretty much useless. I guess we can chill. This game, this this build doesn't scale well, so Draven, if he has Gathering Storm, will definitely outscale us. But also, if we can't force them out of lane, Demolish is um, not going to put in work early. I take that trade all day. But yeah, top lane is very much worrisome. Not getting my minions here. Right, going to the W max. Level 5. Also, the more uh, movement speed you have, the easier it will be to proc grasp, since you can actually catch up to them in auto. That was a juicy Q. If you can get Draven low, well, he should have flashed back by this uh, by by now, so we didn't really get anything out of this, which is a shame. They were starting to outtrade them big time. But Draven retreating. He has BF Sword ready in terms of gold, so makes sense. Yeah, they just backported. I proc demolish once here. Take one plating. Because that's what the build is supposed to do. Alright. And now we need to ensure we don't miss our own back timings. <coughs> so actually, I don't think we need a vamp scepter. Raven BF sword. Yeah, our runes are good enough that we don't need Vamp Scepter in lane against uh, those two. Four and O Aatrox. This is going to be a fun mid game. Not. Is that the way for you set under tower? Alright. That's not how you want to trade against Misfortune. Oh well, he has Rakan to heal and back up, so I guess he can do whatever he wants. Nice bait. Is the axe still returning? It might be. I'm not staying. <laughs> Definitely not staying. I want to proc my demolish, but I don't want to die at the same time. I need this. Draven has too much burst. We might be back in the game, actually. It's only Aatrox, all of them have died, but uh, Aatrox is fed, so we just need to play around him, really. But yeah, so far I like the setup. It does what it is supposed to do in lane. I only hope the lethality is enough to carry me through the mid game. They're going to engage on me. Need to chill. But with Tabby, you are... Uh, you, make sh you make sure that Draven cannot burst you.
That's what Tabby's does. Let's make sure to run out of the knockup before you try to auto attack him. Should be common sense though. I got my ult back in a couple seconds. Nice, they actually got a shutdown. Come on, Draven. I actually want to trade. <laughs> it's, it's completely fine. Oh, it's not. It's not fine. Wow, this build is actually so tanky. All the extra health from my keystone and from, uh, you know, oh god, I missed it. And from overgrowth, yeah, it really shows. Many times, that's 60 health plus 90 health. So 100, 150 health, that's 400 gold worth of stats. In case you wonder. Kane is ready. I can live this, right? F tabby. And grasp, yeah, easy. Wow, well, I actually quite like this build. <laughs> it, it is, it feels very nice to play in the lane phase. Nautilus will die here if he doesn't take care. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I guess we want dust by second. But yeah, this build is sick in the lane phase. You pretty much get lane priority for free. They cannot really all in you because of all the health and bone plating. Not to mention the regeneration. And in the mid game, you still have uh, overheal plus lifesteal to your runes and also the lethality from your items. Wow, I actually missed that because I didn't refresh love tap. That was so stupid of me. I might get ganked here. Okay, maybe not. Get ready for a grasp proc. Yeah, we hard win these trades. Just take tower. Don't bother. Nice, easy first turret. We actually still got the plating, didn't we? I'm super rich now, actually. Yeah, this is where we rotate towards mid lane and do the same thing with mid tower. Wow, that was actually very good. AP Malphite, huh? Need to be careful. Don't have magic resist. Didn't auto over the wall. Depressing. <laughs> Malphite can one-shot me, probably. Or he can't, wow. I actually can't do it. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I need Edge of Night. Don't have mana. Ah, oh, I didn't have mana for R. That was... Pretty dumb of me. To 
push this. I guess I can attack tower here. Yeah, with Ghostblade, definitely. Can just run. <coughs> Ghostblade plus uh, W Max. But yeah, I need my Edge of Night. You saw that. That now fight. <laughs> it's pretty scary. Also, getting more HP never hurts when you have um, Overgrowth and uh, Demolish. And, uh, and obviously, Overheal. By the way, I don't think shield bash is worth it. It's uh, it does too little for what you um, for what you need to give up. <coughs> Demolish is actually um, it's pretty much free map control and uh, and free gold. That's what Demolish is. Getting a cheeky proc here. Nalfa is looking for an ulti. Need to be careful. But yeah, this is where Grasp will stop doing stuff. Uh, we got 75 health out of it, which is nice, but uh, we won't be proccing it too much uh, more, except for in larger team fights. <coughs> Press the attack, on the other hand, would uh, would deal great damage now, in the mid-game. I'm trying to keep my CS high, need gold. Wow, okay. CC'd for ages. <laughs> I almost got out of that too. But yeah, that was just too much. They dove rather deeply. Maybe we can clean up. Come on, Eve. Nice. Good execute. Draven is not in the game, by the way. He is pretty much useless at this point. <coughs> yeah, I guess we also need healing reduction after Edge of Night. <coughs> Going for a Dustblade fourth item, maybe. Or maybe we skip Dustblade and instead go for Black Cleaver. Not sure yet. Yeah, I shouldn't push. It's definitely a mistake. We'll take that minion, though. Not that one. Okay, Zend, you can have it. But I also need farm. I, I cannot starve. That's not how AD carry works. It's alright. I can farm my occasional wave mid lane. <coughs> <coughs> oh god, I'm still a little bit sick. Wants it. Oh god, they all want it. Come on, team, clean up! Nice, nice! I call it worth. I hate playing the bait doll, but uh, sometimes you just have to have to take one for the team, right? Yeah, this will make my life so much easier. Also, I need healing reduction for Pain and Aatrox. So next up, definitely um, the Mortar Reminder. <clears throat> so, proc it two additional times. <laughs> Sucks that you cannot see how much damage an individual proc would do. And I don't feel like doing math right now.
Maybe we can help. Elphite's looking for it. He will have ult ready again. He definitely runs Ultimate Hunter. Um, I guess I joined the team here. Don't have grievous wounds yet. Don't have grievous wounds yet. Please don't leave me alone with Aatrox. <sighs> Guys. He is super fat. I'm not equipped to deal with him. I'm an AD carry and he is a bruiser. And he's at the strongest point for his game. Boy, I was that close. But yeah, as soon as I get Executioner's Calling, my life will be way easier. Shoutouts to my tank stats and my runes. <laughs> Keeping me alive, huh? He can't hurt me. But yeah, I need executioners. It's super important. Just run. I hope you won't ult a lonely Nautilus. On my way, boys. But yeah, in the mid game, it definitely falls off. It's still nice though, you don't really need the damage, because you can just draw ult them with all the lethality. Oh, I thought there was something going on, huh? My bad. I'd really like to get some farm. And I also like to not get collapsed on in the mid lane. Mm, let's try to maintain vision control. I'm out of here. I guess the communication between us was not correct here. Also, I still got Malphite ulted because Rakan broke my spell shields. Happens. Yeah, it was unlucky. <coughs> ah, okay. Yeah, it happens. I mean, you cannot land all your skill shots all the time. <coughs> As you can see from some of my ulties. Yo, actually, I guess if I were a Malphite, I would just hard engage on this 500 gold bounty here. To be completely honest with you. He flashed. A truck's behind us. Previous wounds on him. 
Nice. Nice, we get them. Alright, I guess he gets away. Or does he? We can dive him, that's for sure. Take care, boys. Not going to waste demolish on that tower. It's the one minute cooldown after all. And maybe we can take another one. Ah, oh, it looks like we're going for Baron. It doesn't matter. And I actually got a few grass procs in here. I like. <coughs> yeah, this should be ours. Nice, get my mortar reminder. Alright, so next item will be Dustblade and last item will be this one, so our damage won't fall off, despite not having Gathering Storm. Because low health targets, we burst them anyway with full, with, uh, full lethality, and the high health targets will get shredded. I actually really like the build. It's so safe. It's so extremely safe. I mean, how are they going to burst through you? Bone plating and all the extra health. It's not easy. Plus lifesteal, plus overheat shield. Plus grass peeling. Right, here we can get another demolish proc. Actually, we'll save it. That's probably greedy of me. But doesn't ma uh, Well, if you're not in a hurry, there's no reason to proc it. Yeah, we should retreat now. Let's get this. Nice. <clears throat> we should reset. Uh, control ward wherever. I don't want to sell it. And maybe it does something good here. Let's not force this. Eve dies, she dies. That's on her. Yup. I'm out of here. But yeah, especially at minute 30, not having Gathering Storm feels a little bit meh. But at the same time, we still have infinite scaling through overgrowth, right? Oh, why didn't they just reset? It makes zero sense. Uh, take that jungle. It's also fine. Nah, we, we're not going mid. There's nothing to gain there. Just push other lanes. Also, I'm overextended right now. Might go for his jungle camp, right? Boss out a smite. He cannot catch me, it's impossible. I didn't cast either because that 0.5 seconds cast time would have allowed him to catch me. Don't have my spell sheet ready for the next 20 seconds, so I need to be um, careful not to... not to get Malphite ulted. Push bot lane.
That enemy should be free now. They cannot defend it. Or can they? I again wasted my spell shield, which is a shame. I won't ult unless Malphite ults. Okay, he ulted. Ah, uh, we take those. Should be the game, by the way. <laughs> Five men dead, we're in their base. Yeah, GG. There's nothing they can do to stop us now. And I might not have gotten the most kills, but the amount of pressure this build creates is unreal. I mean, they were not really able to one-shot me, and if they did so, they wasted so many resources that my team just cleaned up. And we still did a respectable amount of damage. And, uh, oh, only two honors. Other three going to Nautilus. Yeah, he was a very good support. I definitely appreciate. Um, by the way, if you want to see how to play Misfortune with Arcane Comet, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb.